Hey, I'm Greg. I am an operations fellow at an entrepreneurship center, and I give MongoDB a four out of five. So we switched from Google Sheets. We were using it to store a lot of our membership data, but we found that it was just uh, too unorganized and it couldn't, um, it wasn't able to handle the amount of data we were processing. We chose MongoDB for a variety of reasons. The primary one is that our staff rotates pretty frequently just as a part of the program. And MongoDB is really easy to learn and understand. It's customer friendly for developers, but also is able to be used by people who don't necessarily have database experience. Um, we found MongoDB to be pretty easy to integrate with our apps. And while there are other services out there that provide similar functionality, the free tier on MongoDB was really a benefit to us um, and provided us with enough support to sort of get started on the platform, but allows us to grow if we need it in the future. MongoDB was relatively easy to integrate with our system. We were lucky in that we were sort of overhauling a lot of our back end data processing stuff anyways. So MongoDB was just one extra step to add on top of our existing code base. Um, it, was, it was relatively easy to add different models and different ways of storing data. And we found that compared to things like SQL that may have a higher learning curve, because of MongoDB's very user-friendly uh, experience, we were able to do so without much um, time committed to learning, which as I mentioned earlier, is really great given how often our staff rotates. Um, so it, it really made the whole process a lot easier. It, and it was sort of one less thing that we had to think about as we were shifting away from our old model. So if you're thinking about trying out MongoDB for your business or service or project, I'd recommend messing around with their playground option. Their free tier is more than enough for a lot of smaller projects and it gives you a chance to learn MongoDB, learn the ins and outs, and see how easy it is to integrate into your system. I had some questions that were quickly answered through their online programs, and just, but more than that, just being able to use it uh, in my own application, just trying it out. That said, if you are considering MongoDB, I'd look at Google Firebase as well. They have a database, I think it's called Firestore, as a part of the Firebase platform as a whole but it integrates really nicely with all of the other Google services that are part of the Firebase platform. And what's on top of that, it still uses the same sort of database structure and that all objects are stored as JSON objects, but it, uh, it just integrates with all of their other services pretty well.